Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this romantic bridal hairstyle using four different braiding techniques. This is my hairstyle EXO. In this channel I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. Hopefully you will like it. I'm working with medium hair but this is great hairstyle for long hair as well. Beginning by taking the section of hair from the side. Separate this section in 5 equal pieces. First I bring the strand from left under the next and over the middle. Then I take the rightmost section and bring it under and over. Then again from left under the next and over the middle. Then from the right under the next and over the middle. Continue from the left under and over. Then from right under and over. Add some hair to the strand you just moved. Then bring the leftmost strand under the next and over the middle. And from right under and over. Add some hair. Leftmost strand under and over. Then rightmost strand under and over and add some hair in. Left strand under and over and then right strand under and over. Add some hair every time on the right side. Bring the left strand under and over. Then the right one under and over. Add some hair. Keep on repeating the pattern like this. If you want some boning for this hairstyle, pancake the edges of the braid. Just pinch the outside edge of the stitch and pull it out gently. Then continue the braiding. Next, I will create some French twists around the hair. First, take some hair from both sides of the head and bring them together under the 5 storm braid. Tie strands together with an elastic. Flip the end of the hair through the loop like this and pancake the itches. Then create another similar twist under the 5 strand braid. Take some hair from both sides. Tie them together with an elastic. Clip the end through the loop and pancake the itches. Take again some hair from both sides. This time I bring the right strand through the addings like this. Then just secure the braids together, clip the end and pancake the edges just like before. After these three twists I create the pistol braid. 
So take a small amount of hair and separate it in two pieces. Then start to bring hair from side over to the another strand. More smaller hair pieces you take, more detailed the braid will be. If the strands will be too big, the braid will look like a French braid. So take a small piece from right, bring it over to the left side, and then a small piece from left to the right side. Right, over to the left side, left, over to the right side. Continue the braid until it's about 3 to 4 inches long. In this hairstyle, I suggest you to braid braids longer than you actually need because they are meant to look like they would be inside the big braid all the time. Pancake also this braid by pinching the outmost edge of the stitch and pulling it out. Next, take some hair from both sides of the fistel braid and tie them together under the fistel braid. Flip the end and pancake the edges. If you want to leave some accent hair out of the braid, do it on this point of styling the hair. Next, pull the strand to the previous twist, like this, and take some hair from the right side as well. Tie them together over the 5 strand braid, flip the end and pancake the edges. Then take some hair from outside edges, bring the hair under the fistel braid and over the 5 strand braid. Tie together with an elastic. Flip the end through the loop and pancake the edges. Next, I place the fistel braid crossing the big braid diagonally and take some hair from the right side to create the twist. This twist keeps the braid on this place. So you don't need any poppy pins for this hairstyle. Next, take some hair from the left side and create the twist using this single strand. This is kind of filling the left side. Pull the strand again through the previous twist. Take some hair from the another side and tie the strands together. Create a twist. Next, I create the simple three strand braid from the right side. So take a three pieces and start to bring the strands from side to the middle. Pancake the both sides of the braid to create some more volume. Continue the braid again as long as you can be sure that the braid will reach inside the bigger braid. Next, I create the twist under the three strand braid. And another twist. Next, bring the three strand braid diagonally over the bigger braid and create the twist to secure it on its place. A 
After that, create two to three stitches more. Then separate the end of the hair in two pieces and braid the freestyle braid until the braid is on the length you desired. Pancake the edges of the freestyle braid. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you will have a great week!